We are going to continue with our presentation of innovations as part of the CMT Digital. As I already announced, we are going to continue with Dometic. We are now talking about accessories. And I would like to welcome Mr. Kaufold, and I am looking forward to what he has in store for us. Thanks to you, and thanks for having me here today. I would like to present four main areas, the highlights for 2021. Mobile living made easy is our general motto. Just, yeah. We're going to start with the main area, which is mobile cooling. And here we have the new 10 series of fridges. I will talk more about that in a minute. Then we have the AC systems, the FreshJet 3000, a new AC system for RVs. Then we have rear view cameras, the CAM 200, the CAM 200. So we further develop what we already had in store. This is to extend the application range for campers. So that sounds exciting. We're moving from fridges to rear view cameras, and then we also have something for hygiene. Yes, in hygiene and sanitary applications, we have our power care tabs, which are getting more and more popular and establishing themselves. And I'll also say a few words on that. All right, so we're looking forward to what you have to say. Yes, we can get started. Still waiting for the right slide. Here we have the 10 series, the new fridge series. Here the specialty is that the 10 series have a um, uniform modern design compared to the previous model. We have had some visual changes. Another highlight is are the doors, because you can open them from both sides. You used to have one hinge, either on the left and the right hand side. Now we have double hinged versions, the small up to the large one. And then see the doors again. That's the RMD fridge. We have the frost department compartment at the top and the fridge at the bottom, so you can open the fridge from both sides. What's the advantage of being able to open fridge and freezer from both sides? Well, the enormous benefit is that he can, they can operate the fridge or freezer from both sides and take out food. They don't have to walk around the fridge. And it's really unique in the caravan market and gives you huge benefits because even in the van area and caravan area, you can make ample use of that. Now, the fridge family has been further expanded. Do you have a few words on that? Right. Oh, I was just going to show you the operating panel. That's the 10 series control panel. Digital design with a central control. And the family that you mentioned, you can see the, the absorber fridges here. We have the small ones and even the large ones. What you can also see is that we have aluminum grab handles and on both sides of fridge and freezer. And as a supplement to that, we have the compressor fridges. Every absorber fridge and compressor fridge is available in a uniform dimension. This wasn't the case earlier. So the RMD two-door fridge can um, be designed as a compressor fridge and the, the smallest one as well. What does this mean for the customer? Well, the big benefit for the customer is that either they have factory installed fridges with absorber fridges or compressor fridges, and the customer needs and 
can be um, can be covered with these absorber or compressor fridges, so we're really flexible right now. Now, those of us who do not deal with fridges every day, what's the dif difference between absorber and compressor fridges? Well, basically, the absorber fridge is a three-way fridge, 230 volts. If I have 230 volts at the camping site and um, during the drive, I have 12 volts. And if I do self-sufficient operation, I can operate it with gas. So uh, three options with the same system. And that's the most frequently installed fridge. It's noise-free and it's just um, really established. And the compressor series also has its advantages. You also talked about air conditioning. What, is the, what are the innovations here? Well, sorry, I forgot one thing for the fridges. Um, what's important is even if you retrofit from a previous fridge to a compressor fridge, you can have the same dimensions nowadays. This wasn't possible before. And that's something to keep in mind. And we also have some discounts, um, but I'll get into that later. We also talked about the air conditioning systems. Here we have the Fresh Jet 3000. That's a really new AC system that was the latest generation of our air conditioning system. The specialty here is that it's an inverter compressor AC system. The other ones were mere compressor systems. This will guarantee a smoother operation and uh, vibration-free operation. How is it possible from a technical side of view to get it noise-free and vibration-free? Well, the inverter makes it possible that the compressor is supported in the AC system. The compressor speed is regulated during the operation. As soon as the temperature is reached, it is adjusted and the compressor speed is reduced, giving us much less vibrations or noise levels not comparable to previous levels. So clearly more comfort for the customer, yeah, for sure. How about uh, fuses, I mean, in, on camp sites? what's necessary, anything new. Yes, the huge benefit with the AC system is that for the first time, the customer can actually have an impact on power consumption of the AC system. The compressor starts and uh, shuts off when the temperature is reached. Well, it used to be that case with the Fresh Jet 3000. The customer sets the temperature and the controller makes the adjustment, so you need less power, even though the system is usable for vehicles starting with at seven meters, you can only, you only need a six amp fuse on your campsite, and you can even um, use it for large vehicles. So a clear cut on power consumption. What are, are there more innovations apart from cooling systems and uh, fridges and air conditioning systems. Well, we also have um, the uh, rear view camera, the backup camera. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. The left hand um, graph shows AC systems without inverters, and the right hand graph shows AC systems with inverter. You see the red line, the compressor is switched on, switched off, switched and so on, and that's why we have lots of vibrations. And the A systems without inverter don't have this shut on, shut off behavior. And we also have a touch screen air distribution pad. All right, let's move on to the backup camera or video. We have the Cam 200 right now. That's a um, bike carrier camera. It can be connected to the bike carrier of a van or a motorhome. 
What is the benefit of this camera? Well, the big benefit is that the camera, once it was mounted to the motorhome, the viewing angle was impaired once you had um, bikes on the rack, so you didn't have an ideal view of the reverse, but you had the picture of the bike carrier with the bikes. The benefit now is that you can mount it onto the bike carrier yourself, have an ideal view to the back without any restrictions. So you see, you can see the rear without, even if bikes are attached. What happens if no bikes are attached? Yes, we have folding bike carriers as well. You can see them in those pictures. So the bike carrier is folded up, and the benefit of the camera is that it's a dual camera solution. So you have one lens looking forward, uh, looking back for the maneuvering, and when the bike carrier is folded up, you have a switch to the second camera just like with your smartphone when you turn the display. So both cameras are equipped with space markings, so you can have a better idea of the distance and don't have any trouble maneuvering. So you covered everything when you designed this new camera. Anything else you would like to add to that? Or shall we look at the sanitary area? Well, with the rear view camera, we have said about everything. It's unique in this segment. There hasn't been any other solution so far. So it is really recommendable taking a look at it. And in the sanitary area, we have our power care tabs. It's a very easy handling. You used to have um, fluid that you had to measure. You can compare it to the dishwasher tabs. You have everything pre-dosed um, or pre-measured, so it's really easy handling. So how is this tab used? Well, I take one tab, which um, is put into the cassette toilet tank. I add some water. It dissolves completely. And I don't have any um, soiled fingers. I have um, pleasant odor. And it's very easy to handle, and it's pre-measured for the toilet volume. Usually you have um, a container with 16 taps, and what we have as a specialty this spring until the end of April is that we have a special filling with 20 taps. You can see it here. Usually 16 taps, now 20, so four on top for free, and it's a resealable container. You can just get it over your retailer's a special discount campaign, same price as the 16 tab containers. So something you necessarily need when you're on the road with the vehicle, yes. Right, um, so we've looked at all the novelties as far as um, domestic is concerned. If you have nothing to add, then we'll look if we have any questions coming up in the chat. Oh, there's two things I still need to add. We have some more discount campaigns this spring. When you retrofit fridges, you want the customer wants to have the new compressor fridge, for example, or the 10 series fridge, they can make use of up to 300 euro discounts um, when having them installed at their dealers. Just address the participating dealers. That's important to note, mention, and um, of course, one more thing I would like to add, we have brochures for different um, product ranges for the AC systems, the fri fridges, awnings, electronics, and that's the advantage for the end customer. I don't need to have a huge catalog, but this is a specific brochure for specific needs and applications. All right, so in a nutshell, you find everything that we have presented in 20 times, a minute's time. We did get questions from viewers. The first question is, 
how you deal with condensate in the AC system domain. Well, with roof AC systems, we have Usually you see condensate dripping onto the roof on the left-hand and right-hand side, especially if you have high moisture levels or humidity in southern regions. It drops onto the roof and um, is being drained like rainwater. So a natural drain system for condensate. Now the backup camera you mentioned, how is it supplied with power and how is it mounted? The CAM 200 bi-carrier camera can be mounted to any vehicle. It's put into a groove. Usually we have these grooves and bi-carriers. Everything is included in the scope of supply, and then it's just um, either connected to the existing camera, the cable can be used, so the power supply from the existing camera can be used, a very limited effort. Limited effort, great uh, effect. How about the distance markings? Can you switch them on and off? Yes, these distance markings are set. I have a red, a green, and a yellow line. They cannot be switched off. They should give you a visual aid. In this case, it's really beneficial if they're switched on. You cannot switch them off. Another question. Is, it, is the camera connected by cable or radio connected? In this case, it's cable bound, which has its benefits because a cable connection is often more reliable, less prone to disturbance, and a radio solution can always, it's a good solution, but uh, with these two camera lenses, um, radio technology is not easy to implement. So we've covered everything with the questions as well. The last question pops up. The taps that you mentioned, are there refill packs? We don't have refill packs because you can only get the 16 tap can. Um, containers, you get them from all retailers in this domain, so you just buy the entire container. And now at the moment you get them in this beneficial size, it's worth uh, <laughs> doing some uh, binge shopping basically, but we're, we've got some exercise in that. So no further questions. Um, thanks very much for the news in the domain of um, accessories. If there are further questions, please hop to the brand space, ask your question via the chat. The colleagues are going to find responses for all questions, and we're going to continue in a few minutes. Hope to see you soon.